But you guys got another video on how to clone a bootable USB flash drive to a, another USB flash drive for free. Now, if you have a smaller USB flash drive here and you want to extend it to a bigger USB flash drive to put more stuff on it, then you can clone it to a bigger drive. You can even do this with micro SD cards or external hard drives or even hard drives themselves that are built inside the PC. You can clone any of those to a bigger drive. We're going to be using a free piece of software called IOMI Partition Assistant Standard. This is going to be the free version that we're going to be using, not the paid version. If you head over to this site, I'll leave a link in the video description. You can see here it does a lot of things like resizing partitions, make them bigger or smaller. You can move partitions, you can merge two partitions, delete and wipe partitions, erase all your data, clone partitions to another partition, all that sort of good stuff with this particular software. So if we check which edition is right for you, we can check and see whether the free edition will allow us to clone our drive. And you can see here, it does say that we can clone partitions and also clone disks. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing. We're downloading the partition assistant standard. Now, this is the source. This is the one we want to copy and we want to send it to the destination, which is this one here. Now, remember, the destination will have all the data overwritten on that drive so if there's any data on there you need to back that up because it will be erased now the source drive is this one here and we're going to clone it over to another drive so let me go ahead and i'll show you how we can do this with this software so this is the software right here we can now see the drives are visible on here disk three and two and we're going to go ahead and go up to all tools and then go down to where it says uh, disk clone wizard that's what we need to click on here so click on this one this will open up the disk clone wizard box we have two choices we have clone disk quickly or we have sector by sector clone the clone disk quickly will clone only u space to another disk and allow to adjust the size of the partition which is recommended sector by sector clone clones all the sectors to another disk whether used or not that does take a fair bit of time but we're going to choose the top one here now we need to choose our source drive, which is the one here, disk two. We're gonna choose this as our source to be cloned, and we're gonna put it onto our destination, which is the other drive here. So let's go ahead and select the source, which is disk two. Yours might be called disk three or disk zero, whatever it may be, you need to select that source drive. So let's go ahead and select this one here. And once we've got this, we're going to be selecting the next button to go to the destination. You can see we've got the correct one here. All partitions on that source disk will be copied to the destination disk that you are about to choose on the next page. Now we can choose the destination, which is going to be disk free. Let's select this. All contents on the target disk will be deleted in the process of the cloning partition. Click the next button to continue. Optimize the performance of SSD. And it says if the selected uh, destination disk is an SSD storage, please check mark here. So let's go ahead and check mark it because mine is an NVMe drive storage. So I'm going to check mark that. Click next, and this will move us on to the uh, preparation process, which is going to erase all the data on that drive. You can see here all data on this destination disk will be wiped out. So if you've got any data on there, it will be erased. Click OK to continue. And now you can see here we've got clone without resizing partitions, fit partitions to entire disk, or we can edit partitions on this disk, depending on what you want to do. We're just going to clone without resizing the partitions here. So any space that's left behind will be unallocated, and that's fine by me. So what we can do here is we're just going to leave this as is, and we're going to go ahead and click continue. But if you do want to fit partitions to the entire disk, you can do. But we're just going to go ahead and check mark the clone without resizing partitions here. Once we've got this done, we can click on next here, and this will prepare our job ready for the process. So you can see here, click finish and return to the main menu. Now to start the process, we need to click on the apply up the top left hand side here. This will then start to proceed with the cloning process. So you can see here, down here, we've got another box that says, do you want to proceed? So we're going to click on proceed here to start the job uh, and uh, basically clone our drive. Are you ready to start? And now we say yes, and now we are cloning our drive to a new destination. 
So let's go ahead and I'll speed this process up. It does take a bit of time depending on the size of the clone that you're doing. So be patient and uh, go make yourself a cup of tea while this is doing its process. But basically, once this is done, we should have a complete clone of all of the drive onto a new destination drive. Congratulations, all the operations have been completed successfully. We can now close off uh, our software and move on to check the actual drive itself. If we look here, you can see we do have a complete replica of our drive. There is some capacity that hasn't been used on the drive, and that will be marked as unallocated. We can make that um, allocated afterwards if we wanted to, or we could have dealt with that in this process when we built it, but that's the way I wanted to do it. So we've got this done now. We can close off this software and we can now check our software. So let's go ahead and click on Explorer here. And this will open up the Explorer window. And you can see here we do have a complete replica of our drive. It's just copied exactly or cloned exactly the same drive onto a new drive right here. And the new drive is an NVMe drive, so it's going to be a lot faster and it will load up a lot quicker. Than the previous drive now if we check disk management here you'll see exactly what's happened to this drive so let me just quickly open this up and you can see we do have a complete clone of our drive everything is exactly the same and when i boot to this drive the boot section should be intact and i should be able to boot to this drive no problem at all you can see there we do have a small bit of space which is unallocated which is 4.63 gigabytes and i can just uh, bring that into the drive if I wanted to, but I'm just going to leave that there because it's only four gigabytes and that is pretty much that taken care of. So that is how you can clone one USB drive to another or an external drive to another external drive. It could be a mechanical drive to a SSD or NVMe to NVMe or SSD to NVMe. It could be any of these combinations as long as the destination drive is bigger than the source drive you should be okay it can be the same size and that will be perfectly fine as well as long as you've got enough space on the destination to take that clone of the source drive then you'll be perfectly fine anyway just want to say a quick shout out to all my youtube members i really do appreciate the support a special shout out goes to phil clark he's just subscribed so i really do appreciate the support there phil and uh, my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk i shall catch you in the next one or i'll see you on the discord server for a chat bye for now Thank you.